Fox. The broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say There's anything, more morphine. Roy. More. Just get feed. over there. What a what an intro right there. Hi folks, it's me, it's Feisty Cheese. Welcome back to the stream this afternoon. We're going to finish up Vice. I've got two missions left on Vice <clears throat> for LA Noir. So we are going to finish those two right now. I'm on the rooftop. All right, great. Roy, don't go out there. I lied. Nothing was out there, Roy. Don't worry about it. This is that getup of yours anyway. I should start introducing us as Detective Earl. This is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. What the fuck do you mean? My suit? Your interest in my appearance is a well, I guess, couple now. I guess People I only have one suit. You on Neat. My arm, All right, whatever. They would have fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, what Roy. What the fuck did he just say? All right, anyway. <laughs> We're on to the Naked City. Total waste of it. I was told... Mm, on this one. <laughs> so we will find out together. Damn! <sighs> yeah, so we got two cases left on Vice. And depending on how it goes, we might do something after this as well. It's also really cold. It's not that bad outside, but it's just really cold in here. Is this a strong fence? Oh, the strongest! Ooh. The flimsy wooden boards with the strength of titanium. The physics in this game make no sense, but it's just a game. Anytime soon. Not on your life. What do you say? Apartment six in the back, top floor. I think. Cause that was three I just saw. So maybe. Yeah, five. Seven. Oh, you know the one that's wide open, possibly. Bukowski, you made homicide. Hey. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? <laughs> or can we hey. Get out? Relax, Rusty. Hey, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Mm. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. You mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Look at this. Look at this crew. Look at this motley crew of detectives right here. Phelps? Mal. Mal. We've had a look around. Rusty thinks His it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This mm. foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases Jesus. of real drowning. Jesus. I don't Notice think she drowned, bro. May I took a look? You might she guess. definitely doesn't look like she drowned. And that was the only cause. Take a closer look at her head and neck. Like, uh... A very unusual ring. Oh. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. Sapphire. Alright. Uh, let's check out the other one. Anything over here? Or just more... Yeah, like, look at that. Bruising on the forearms, and these look like bite marks. But she drowned on her own. Not a problem. <clears throat> just remembering the... Oh, whoops. Just remembering the case mm, very long ago, where it was basically we were dealing with the psychopath who was just murdering girls. It's just... Ugh. What if they made you a case of that? You're cut off. You're cut off. Okay. So 
so we did arms. We did perfect. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! Did I miss something else? Also, who's talking? Yeah. All right, what do we got? What do we got? No good to me. All right, that's it there. Pardon me, Mal. It's gonna be. A... Son of a bitch! Can I just look at the pills? I. Eh. Eh. Let me just get my fingerprints all over this real quick. Okay. Um. What do we got? What do we got? Got away, cameraman! That's a nice all the English jacket. smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Seville Row. So we're looking for... An old bastard. Oh, more pills. Okay. Looks like barbiturates. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of an epic rap battle of history there, where one of the lines is, "You'll lose this battle like you're about with barbiturates," and now it's now it's sad. <laughs> what we got? Barbiturates. Jesus. What else also, is rattling around in this thing? <laughs> Why do they look so fake? Oh, hello. We should speak to her doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Huh. Okay. Julia Randall's apartment. Still have some things to find. Got it. Ah, uh, yes. One of the several photos. It's all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. Okay. Oh, I can further investigate another. Do I flip it over? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, not on that one. One of them's got to have writing on it somewhere. It's this one. A modeling assignment. Flip it! Yeah! It's a place to start. TV company. Alright, do we have to look at the third? Might as well. Beautiful girl. The clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Oh, Sears. Wasn't sure if maybe there was like a watermark where if I moved it I could see it. I don't know. Alright. Out of there. Hello, ma'am! I was going to scrub the bathroom. And there. There she. Well, you're gonna talk about it, goddamn. Floating. I really can't talk about this anymore. Oh, you will. Little, little, little. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Except for that ladle. Very important ladle. And this wooden spatula. Maybe. Or salad, wooden no. salad fork. I don't know. We only have a bunch of wooden instruments upstairs nope. for kitchen. Wait. Kitchen utensils, Jesus Christ. But what are words? Mm. I don't think this is any use be to us. Back in the bedroom. It's gotta be. Or bathroom, sorry. So it's on her. What the fuck? All right. Her neck is bruised pretty badly. Well, no shit. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected oh, her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning, and spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the serrets. It would make my theory. <laughs> the morphine would have been very quick. And there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, 
So find two guys who recently bought Surrettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Alright, so we're done here. Alright, do we make a phone call? Do we talk with her? I think we have to talk with her. Hello, ma'am. Advice? Nope. You want to talk to the cleaning lady? Not you, Roy. I'm I wasn't Fox. talking to you. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Uh, Virginia Ju Reynoldson. Julia's I'm just dead, so bro. You can't help her. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. The police. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. She said Someone Julie, has to set her affairs Julia. in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who? who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Ma'am. All right. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. So she wasn't mad at anyone in particular. All no, right. great start. Men were usually great start with Miss Julia, not Why the other would way she around. Lie? I don't think Miss Julia was ever in love with anyone. Fuck. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Men Fuck. friends, Mrs. Reynoldson, spill it. I will not spread gossip about Miss Julia. I'm not going to get she a single very solitary nice question here. I don't care if she was the Virgin Mary sister. Who was she humping? You changed the sheets. Roy. You're disgusting. <laughs> if you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. It will hold you in contempt. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. <laughs> Yeah, perfectly fine. Nothing was wrong. Don't worry about it. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. Ew. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. That's not how it goes. Of course, I being so beautiful, it, it seemed like she I was want going it to damn get quick. It. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Now nah, she did. Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. Oh. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. Fuck! Alright. <laughs> Phone. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Listen to me, damn it. I know what I'm doing. You think Carruthers has called it right? Hell he yeah. rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm with Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. I, I don't I don't understand how they can look at that body with the strangle marks and the struggle marks and the bruising and just go, you know what? Yeah, fell asleep on sleeping pills in the tub. Yeah, makes sense. You're police officers and you're more idiots than detective idiot. Fucking hell. All right, uh, Stoneman. Fuck you, Roy. I'm gonna crash your car. Not good! I didn't mean I was gonna do it right now, but wait. Wait. Can we? LAPD! No, 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 no. Damn it. Who's got the siren on? Hello? It ain't me. sirens other than in a mission. Also, I want to drive the bus. Excuse me. Not a care in the world. Oh. All right, Roy, your uh, your car is gone. Oh. Are they following me? What's happening? Wise guy, what's the story with driving off? That's 1247. I've never I need your fucking vehicle. seen that. That's awesome. All right, have fun catching up again, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's awesome. Get the fuck out of the way. 
Doctor over prescribed or prescribed her two different things that did not sit well. Um, and this dress. Or, no, 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 wait. Was it the dress? Yeah, it's the dress. This is what she was wearing. Got it. Doctor Stoneman's practice. That's Mr. Doctor Stoneman to you. set of cases is arson, so maybe the absolutely fireproof will burn down. Hello? Oh. No, Roy, 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 no, get out, Roy, get out of the elevator! I swear, if we lock up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. <laughs> Stoneman, Office 505. Got it! It's like I just said it. Oh, oh, hello? Ow, heck it. Alright, 505. Hey, it's this one. Yeah, because I Yes, sir, hand. your name? LAPD. LAPD. Yeah. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? Nope. No, he <laughs> wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Uh, Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the L.A. One of them is a gentleman. The other one is a uh, pain in the ass. Please, I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Thank you. <sighs> Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Are you? Are Do you, you mind Mr. if we Stoneman? ask you some questions Mr. about Ms. Randall? Uh, um... Not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, Detective. All right. How well did you know Miss Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Um, he seems... Well, no, no, there was an eye shift. Uh, sleeping pills. Troubled sleep and depression. In July of 46. What year is it right now? Uh, oh, fuck it. I'll use the intuition. Remove an answer. I don't know what year it is, but I'm going to accuse him. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. Ha -ha! It's I'm the sure sleeping you know pills. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? What's what's veracity? Do you have access to my patient records? Well, I mean, I don't have access to your records, but what I do have is the fucking Benzedrine prescription. Your prescriptions contradict you, Yeah, motherfucker. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. Just tell the fucking truth, she Jesus Christ. She jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I told her to slow up, but no. Maybe like you should have prescribed both those And you supplied things. the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. You know what's A illegal? lot of young women Killing in line of work use it for weight loss. <sighs> you wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Wrong! Benzedrine is addictive, <laughs> as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. Hmm. I knew the line of work she was involved in. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> That'll be all for now. Yeah, two for two. Made Good up touch. to that one for three earlier. Sort of go kick your ass. Call me Evan Costello. I'll kick your ass. Anything over here? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look at your shit. This isn't what we're looking for. Damn it. This is also probably not what we're looking for. Optimistic, Cole. 
about... Nope, okay. How about this? Fuck! Alright. We're leaving. Your the investigation doctor's a murderer. is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. <laughs> it hurts! It hurts so fucking bad. Dear sweet Jeebus Christmas. Oh. No one will be seated during the gripping. Going back down the elevator seat. <laughs> we. <laughs> All right. The old boy is lying. Yeah, no shit. About what? Everything. I don't know. <laughs> Excellent detective work there, Roy. Uh, where's the broken car? Huh. Alright, where to? Locations. Dress store. Alright, Roy. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in Did the way of police else hear the work, and it's only that private that when it suits flowers it. Need? A couple Damn. of drinks, and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. There's a heavy thing of flowers. I mean, what's uh, wrong with you? Uh, siren was on. Your fault. Interfering with police business. Get out of the road, idiot! Time, but in actual words, please dispatch. Ah, yes, exactly well, what hello. I thought. What can I help you with today? LAPD! LAPD, ma'am. Yeah! I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, you in particular. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She's dead. She was found dead this morning. Yeah, right. How long had Julie worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Okay. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, uh, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. Gross. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Okay. Did she have any Hey, hey one out of one. Actually, yes. So far, I th we're in the positive. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Uh, Please don't inform Swanson. her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Uh, Ro Heather, Roy. <laughs> these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson. Man, the textures yes. on her head. 2009. Julia, I get my job here. Shit. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? It was a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, that, but I music? wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? Why did it just get real dark all of a sudden? It feels like it just got real dark with the music That's and just very pearl, quick Swanson. questioning. It would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. <laughs> this is mine now. All right. Uh, How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Like Will? Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a passion for <laughs> He and Julia she have been is, uh, for years. very happy and way too flippant. Oh, right, what is this? Uh, well, that's not helpful. Okay. <sighs> seeing all sorts of shit. Of course, after I buy a ticket for Revenge Sevenfold, I'm seeing purchases. Are Ms. Randall and now. Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Ooh. 
She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. Yeah, who's That's Henderson now, again? Ms. Swanson. Could you ask your fiance to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. <sighs> Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. Well, not anymore she's not. All the life escaped. Did, oh, okay. Oh, look, the plane, the plane! See, the game I'm really interested in is who's on that plane in 1940 something or other, 47, L.A. Noir. While I'm down here in the boots on the ground solving crimes, who's on the plane? Where are they going? What they have for breakfast this morning? All right, well, that joke's done. Ah! Guys, it's a very musical fucking thing of... What is it? Traffic, Jesus. Can't think of words. All right, where are we going? We're going back to our apartment. Okay, I mean. Oh no, there's nice a phone. Move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very yeah. slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. And then see the phone box. It all makes sense because why would we go back to the apartment? Right now? Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I help, Detective? Messages, please. Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can oh. connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. It's all gone to Good hell! Now. We'll be right over. Everyone's dead. To the autopsy. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. You're interfering with police business. Absolutely fireproof. We're going into arson after this. They're all gonna burn down. All yeah, units in the vicinity of any central unit. Citizen reports of 415 at 7th and Central. I don't care. Two, identify. <laughs> you better not get blood on this car. Wow! You guys really walked that off. Except for that little splotch of blood. That guy from the papers? He's a cop. Hi. Is that me? You know, the one who just hit you and the reason you're probably walking like that? Yeah. I do that from time to time. That was brutal. <laughs> I didn't know what would happen. Now we know. The mortuary night entrance. Is it night? It was just sunshine. Who's in the plane? Flying up there. Wow, that plane. All right. We're done with planes. Forget the planes. Uh, morgue. Shit. Uh, morgue. Uh, shit. Uh, morgue. Aha! Um, no, not that one. Uh, morgue! Got it. Cole, Roy, I have some information for you. Yes, sir, Mal. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. <laughs> we agree that she was murdered. <laughs> yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, oh, what gives? Block. The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. Well, let's Shut the no fuck up, Roy. No sign of morphine use and no <laughs> metabolized morphine in his blood. Wow. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. 
maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. Yeah. So you're saying Roy. Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. No, Roy, do me a favor. Shut the fuck up. Let the real police officers do the work here. I.e. me, Detective Idiot. Damn! He, uh, hard yikes. All right, what's up? What are we doing? A candy bar. Sorry, I don't play. What is, what is I don't this? know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica. Oh, it's a harmonica. I thought it was a candy bar. Mm, hello. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. That seems foreboding. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you huh? next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Shut Roy, I swear to God. You're the worst. Who put me as a partner with you? God damn. On Olympic, and we finally collared him. Interview two. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. I'm Detective Idiot. Call this is Detective Henry. fucking pain in the ass. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julie. What is with your nose? All right, relationship with the victim. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. And I knew it. Close. Fuck! We were friends. This bad cop. Oh! This landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Lies! Spill it, Henry. What? You know nothing about a man Henderson. named Henderson? <laughs> uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? We're not doing good. We're not doing I'm good. I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Your nose is fucked up. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Hello? Hello? Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So I you wouldn't have any uh -huh. reason to believe okay, that okay, LeBlanc okay. would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Who is opening the door to interview Heather room told us two in over fashion. and over again? That's right. Oh, great. A business card. Yay. It's what I've always wanted. You're some kind of traveling salesman? I want this card. I don't want this card. Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. Me too. I'm proud of it. Fighting six. Oh, you were in the sixth did Marines. Did we just become yeah. best friends? I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple other places. That will be all for now, Henry. <laughs> You've been very helpful. You lying sacko shit. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because I Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Doing great. So much. She's in that car at the light. I just can't get the questions right ever. All right, we fucked this up the other day. Let's get it right. Let's tail him correctly. He was squirming like a worm in there. Squirming don't you like love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Oh. Stolen valor, baby. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means. Nothing though. happened. Nothing happened. You dick. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Oh. And I didn't even cause that crash. But they drove away perfectly fine like nothing happened and in the wrong direction from where they were going. This game rules. Oh, pull on over. Must he is. Okay. It's going into the right lane. Oh, 
I'll just stop all the way back here. Don't worry about me. Where are you taking us, Henry? Goddamn car, Henry. I'm very glad the cars are extremely noticeable that we have to tail. Otherwise, uh, we'd be in trouble. It's always the bright yellow ones. Ah! Now would be a bad Fuck! time to forget how to drive. Nothing happened. That pole came out of nowhere. I never stepped foot in Okinawa. Oh, dude, kick his ass, see bass. Almost. Come on. End it, please. Get on foot and chase him. God damn it. Right back to the right lane. Stay behind you, sir. I guess I won't. Never mind. All right. What's up, bitch? Ever heard of Okinawa? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ma'am? Ma <laughs> he needs money and fast. Ma'am? Does she have nothing to do with this? Out pawn. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll yeah. bring the car around when I'm done here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Move in. At risk losing I'm the trail. Right here, dude. Off the wall. Too much slack. Yeah, get I'm trying. God damn it. I'm stuck in a wall. Don't look at me. Look where you're going. You're in an intersection. Move in. At risk losing the trail. See? God damn it. Get off the wall, Phelps. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't really do much there. That was, that went well. Oh, I hate these tailing missions. Part of the job. running like he's got a shit in his pants. Oh, she's back. Ma'am, what significance do you bring to this story? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. That was also Move in. real quick. At risk losing the trail. Huff it, Phelps. Shut I'll up. bring the car around when I'm done here. Because I ran up and he saw me as I ducked into cover. He couldn't see me in the cover. Maybe I just needed to go do shit. This game sucks. I hate this game so much. Damn it! <sighs> he needs money and fast. He needs money and fast. Suck. You suck. Get in there and find Take out what he's on. I'll stick with him. Otherwise See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. I was told to hoof it.
just focused on this right now, because otherwise we will start it again, and I will hate everything. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Well, he is going to be... Standing at the crosswalk. He turned around from the crosswalk, turned back to the crosswalk, he's going across the crosswalk. Get out of the way. Officer of the law. Get out of the middle of the road, dude! Too much slack. Fuck! He stopped to turn around in the middle of the road. Damn it. Action skipping can be disabled. Skip the action sequence and resume your investigation. Your progression will not be affected. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't want to follow him. Just show me what he does. I didn't know there was a thing. Oh, thank God. Just fail it more. All right. Where did he go? Where's the sound? Oh, hang on. <laughs> I, uh, knocked the capture card loose. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> That's right, Mexico City. One-way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Arnett. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. What have you got? He bought a ticket for Mexico City, tomorrow night. So That's good, but this is better. What you pawn? Oh my God, it's Fabergé. What the hell is that? Is that a Should wallet? have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. Oh, it's a cigarette case. The guy who owned the joint it? thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. <sighs> Arnett That's only disgusting. got 600 clams. Uh, all right, what do we got? Dearest Beverly, with all my affection, with love and affection always. What is fucking L? T? P? What letter is that? All right, where are we going? You're driving. No! Car 11 K, 11 King, come in. No. Go ahead, KGPL. No. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. Homicide detectives Bukowski and Galloway have information relating to the Randall. Uh, and I turned it off. Hang on. Gotta make a phone call. I didn't know there was a mechanic to skip Operator, that give shit. me dispatch. Thank God. It said you could do it. Oh, look, outfits. Hang on. Strip. What a good suit. Uh, I guess we'll go back to the Broderick. All right, statistics. That wasn't one of the things. Uh, options. Gameplay. Action skip. Gunfights, brawls, chases, and tailing. Oh, yeah, that's fine. As long as it's tail. If it's gunfights or brawls. Yeah, Cole Phelps, batch 1247. You know, the interesting stuff versus walking. He turns around and goes, How could I hey! Have a detective? Any messages? Yes, you suck at yes, tailing detective. missions. Detectives Bukowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood station. So I've heard. information in the Julia Randall case. I just got that over the radio. Any luck with the arrest record Didn't check on Jimmy LeBlanc? You. Yes, detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood Ninth Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks, ma'am. So I know that face. That's the guy who busted all those Negro drug pushers last week, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. A one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? 
I can think of a what few. What are we gonna get from But I'd put my money Fred. south of the like, belt. Is, One I, guy plus I can't two think games of what Fred will always us. equals problems. Yeah, I arrested him. He was a piece of trash. All right, thank you, Fred. No, I'm busy. Dodge all sorts of traffic. Here we go. Yeah, that's straight through, straight through, straight through. Fuck! There goes a week's wages. All right. <laughs> it uh, did not work at all. Like we did. Perfect. Thank you. Get out of the way kindly. Clipped him. Barely clipped him. Phelps! Pardon me. Guys. You're driving right at them. Well, I'm sorry. Were they or were they not running into me? We can check the tape, dude. I swear to God. I'll do it. And you know what it'll look like? A bunch of stupid NPCs. And my foot's asleep. Neat. Sir, I need the contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Hang on. I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Is right. the cigarette case on there? Yeah, that's what we were looking for. <sighs> um, pro ring. Oh. Even the engagement ring was purloined. Our net is a cad. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Silver pillbox? Seems Julia wasn't the first board society girl to hide her okay. bennies in that pillbox. Okay. Black sapphire ring. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Man. Look it's at here. me. Look at me. I'm Annette getting must be shit. out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. All right. Investigate the eavesdrop residence. This is eavesdrop contraband list. Oh, we've got so much things to do here. foot still asleep. Uh, oh, hang on. That was the contraband list. Where's Rusty? My sister's always... My sister. Where are they? I guess we'll find out where they are later. Because I doubt it was only just the evidence list. That makes no sense. Uh, parking lot, patrol room. Quit hassling me, detective. Isn't there work you should be doing? All right, fuck you. Anybody in here? Anybody in here? All right, fine. I guess we'll never know. Check out the morgue, see if anybody's over there. Hmm. Ah, forget it. Alright, what are we looking up? Uh, let's go to the ninth beat. Talk with Fred Wallace. Oh, I don't have silent. Okay. 
Fuck! Open your eyes! Uh, yeah, other driver. Not me at all in any way, shape, or form. This car is slow. Friggin' slow. Just the speed of one. Oh, God, fucking son, son of a bitch! <laughs> Thank you for finishing that statement for me, Earl. It's the, we're supposed to go talk to Rusty. I don't know who he is. All of a just be here. Ah. God damn, maniac! Thank you. If you want instructions on how to wipe your ass, you let me know. Okay. Earl, get out of the car. We're walking. Not that way. Shit. Fuck you. Oh, for red! Come on, oh, let's and we're in the car. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. We're all of a sudden in a car. Wallace, Mother. go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. That's it. Every man for himself! This is, uh, this is quite the thing to come into. We gotta fight him? Oh, they're in the construction site. Got it. Oh, there's so many. Hi, friend. Oh, oh my, my hat. Hang on. I need that. Where's my hat? Throw up. Oh, Ow, bitch. I need my hat. Give me my hat. Got him. Nope, that's Fred. Hey, you son of a bitch. What up, nerd? Got him. Shot him right in the heart. And now, they're all dead. Thanks. Huh. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Four Bad people? luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. Uh-oh. He nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. Uh -oh. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big Ooh. guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. What's his name? Out of way. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Willie. Thanks. No big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. Have we met a Will yet? Yeah, right? Somebody named You're William suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the war. Yep. Someone with muscles opened up. Are you crazy? Absolutely. Come on. Straight up the hill. This car cost me a fortune, you yeah. moron. Yeah, well, this car is now stuck in the bottom of a construction site, so... I don't care. <sighs> My phone, nice. Take that, Roy. Okay, we need to find a car. One preferably that drives up a hill better. I like this one. I also like in the 1940s, everybody leaves their cars on the Chevrolet Fleet Master. Roy. 
It's all right. It's a slight dink. No harm done. Hard way. Well, no harm done. Exactly say no harm done. No box. Slow. Try it slow. Yeah, okay. An officer of the law, there is no slow. Driving to a tree, what are you talking about? Shit! Ha! Ah, got him. Excuse me. Oh. oh! He jumped into that. Hey, Roy, you made it! Nice house. Be a shame if anything were to happen to it. APD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? But she is. Would you follow me, sir? Yeah. I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? Hello! You appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> Why would I mind you, Damn man, it, Roy. if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, uh, uh, uh. can you get the detective a drink, please? 43 stolen pieces of shit. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> A Bitch. priceless tiara that has wow, been in the family right. for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Ten. So you have no idea who did this burglary. A lot of these cases tend to be inside jobs. How dare you impugn my character and the character of my staff? If you have no further questions, I suggest you leave. Now without my scotch, lady. Burglary, it's burglary. What can you tell us about Bur the burglary? Burglary, Jesus. That terrible night, at least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Bitch, no! I get the sense that you're worried about something, Mrs. Eastrom. I have already received the insurance claim, detective. Is there any way we could keep the return of these items discreet? What is, what are you hiding? That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch, and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, mother. <laughs> oh. Hello, detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? Uh -oh. This morning at work. Uh -oh. oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, Don. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Uh -oh. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? Uh -oh. That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. <laughs> I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Yes, it is. Absolutely, it is. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, where are we going? Uh, all right, that's perfect. Is this still the same night? Because if it is, great. If not, he's not there. I'm missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. 
That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. You booked it. And Randall was obviously his partner. Mexico, Mexico City. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Probably. Both of you. There's there's a very good explanation for all it's of this. It's a long stretch of nothing. What a sock in it, sister. Damn. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. Get fucked. <laughs> She's fine. Don't worry about her. Why? Why, why would you turn there? I hate you. I hate you so much. Alright, this, this, I, that's why I don't use the fucking siren in this game, because it's annoying as shit. you're going I am I'm looking in reverse god damn I mean I have to be accurate with it perfect thank you except the man that ran right in front of me see what you do now it's gotta be in the same way right it's gotta be <laughs> Unless we're gonna bust them at the train station or whatever. I got nobody. I'm just a detective Phelps. God damn it, how far is his apartment from his fiance? Your car. Seen better days, buddy. Perfect. Flawless. Nothing went wrong. You idiot. Thank you. Get out of the middle of the sidewalk. Start yelling at people on the sidewalk. Okay. We're here, <laughs> safe and Oops. sound. Like nothing ever happened. Come, Come on, damn sister. You. Let's find out who your fiance really is. Where's so welcome, sir? Uh, I'm sorry. Are you a resident? LAPD, bitch. LAPD detectives, we're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett, um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. All right, all right. So, so kind, so cultured. Oh, no one will be seated during the gripping going up in an elevator scene. Well, isn't this just nice and awkward? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Roy. See you, bitch. Come here. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Down the fire escape, idiot. Down, down. Oh, where is he? Fuck, he's up here? All right. He went down Give it up. the roof to LAPD. get to the next roof. There you son of a bitch. A little, uh, little pep in the step here, Phelps. Phelps! My hat! I'll never get that hat back. I walked up way too calm for that shit.
Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. With a stick. How'd I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. <laughs> How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? The, oh, my head. Where are you going, buddy? <gasps> to Mexico City? You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? <laughs> Bitch. Is this a stolen watch? Probably. Vacheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch. Pretty Henry. sure it's on the list. A graduation present for my parents. Yo, okay. Uh, yes, I bet you have. Anything else on there? No. Okay. <sighs> all right, idiot. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. You're lying, Henry. Uh -huh. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Uh, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Because you pawned a Fabergé <laughs> cigarette case today for $600. A case that is on a list of stolen items. It's also... It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society bitch? parties and find out where and when and then have the guests burgle. Julia was desperate for money. Oh, she's... No matter she's how much we made, she always wanted more. Livid. She's about to fucking sock you, bro. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop, to, to get out of that life. Gonna marry Heather if she had it. Not anymore, bitch. Julia told the others that that they were out. That she was gonna create a a new gang. Fuck! You wanted Julia Randall out of your life. It must have been Why would he want that? Julia was our friend. Uh, I would have believed. Julia that. was his hump, sweetheart. They yep. were the Bonnie and Clyde of society burglars. He met you and realized he didn't have to steal anymore. He could just mooch from you. He needed Julie out of the way. Uh, Julia was insatiable. Oh! She didn't care about anyone. Not the least me. She was never going to go I back to the for her. she came from. I wanted her to stop. Identity of Mr. Henderson. Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. Or else... I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. Liar! Give it up, Arnett. You're facing the gas chamber. Give the judge some reason to commute. You still don't get it, do you? Julia entrapped everyone. She was so beautiful. So goddamn cold. This, you're saying this right next to your fiance. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Oh, so Meanwhile, Henderson's nobody. Yeah, okay, fuck you. Henderson's nobody. As soon as you get busted. Wait! Stupid idiot. Oh, all right. Let's go punch a doctor in the face. Why would he still be there at this time of night? Yeah, slowly but surely, damn it. I guess the wedding's off. They only how robbed their mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does how the doctor the fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time <laughs> you can take the runner, Roy. I yeah. box in the moon. Look out! Go on, tell me about you something, something. 
I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? You should have never told me. We're here. Christ! Where's the, where's the practice? Where, where's the where's the practice? Is it over here? Practice. 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 The golden door. Practice. Practice. Roy, for fuck's sake. Practice! Ah, this way. Elevator. Ah, yes, another gripping elevator scene. <sighs> Thanks, LA. Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. Punch him in the face. Eat him. Hang on a moment, sister. <laughs> tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him. Or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Boom. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. Why'd you say it like that? I told you never to surprise come. Tell bitch. Him the truth, Doctor. Yeah. I'm so glad you came. No, you're not. Prison will be better than. Insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? Ugh. I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? Ma'am, get out. They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Ah! It didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She that harlot never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Well, your practice is now gone. Uh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife, or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Something feels wrong about this. What have I done? Oh, shit, there it goes. Ah! Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Message for KGPL. Putting you through now. I need an ambulance <laughs> nice and a coroner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Iber Street, Hollywood. What happened? En route, Detective. You have a message. Great. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Uh... Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. Got it. On our way. Have fun. We have an address for the runner. Let's go. Let's try and wrap this up then. Dude. Uh, this way. This is, this is a long mission. I feel like the other ones just roughly took about an hour. This that old boy bit. really fell for that broad. She was incredibly beautiful, boy. Can we take the car that he you landed throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. Oh, oh hello. Romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. All right, where is it? Broken hearts are good shots. You're talking from experience. Hey, buddy. I certainly am. Okay. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. Like her. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Fucking hell, Roy. That's the 1940s for you. William's apartment. Please tell me this isn't another like 
12 hour drive just to get to his apartment. Oh, it's right here. Christ alive, this is a nightmare! All right. The Broadway Hollywood. What was he doing in his office so late at night? He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. Okay. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. I think he knits as well. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. You got a gun? We could have just walked down there. We didn't have to say shit. We could move Phelps. Phelps! God damn it, I hate you. Is he gonna clock me in the head with the bat again? Oh man, I like Spider Man in the 1940s. Someone, oh, it's not gonna go well on this one, is it? It showed us the Broadway Hollywood for a reason. I can't see in here. It's really freaking dark. Step the stairs. More stairs. God damn it. Uh, pipe. Where's Roy? Is Roy coming? God damn it. Or is it just me running up the fucking thing again? Hold it. He's gotta be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. Look up. There he is! Wait, the son of a bitch! Bang, 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 bang. Stood a lot of bullets to be fair. Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Uh -huh. Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impression okay. on a lot of them. Christ, it's cold. Uh, you guys did good work here today. Roy! I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, eight out of 16. Not great. Not great. Ooh, hard yikes. All right, that's the second to last one of Vice. We got one more, and then Vice is done. And we are on to the final selection in Arson. It said selection, choice, section.
It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Am I? Am I lucky? Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. Oh. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Bitch, he Kelso. exploded it. Well, get right up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. But God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? I don't know anymore. Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. Yeah, take that, Kelso. Blech. <laughs> oh god that uh that did not go well all right last one of vice manifest destiny earl phelps a shooting at the 111 club 6232 hollywood boulevard sounds like a homicide beef two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying it's army surplus morphine, morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Oh boy. You're all the right. best brothers and sisters. I didn't want to arrest the kid. Come on, so I gave him a dusting he wouldn't forget. Let's go God, figure out what the hell's happening. We can't again. seem to put oh, this morphine to sleep. Fuck! A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Not vice. Even you, Phelps. Mouthpiece for strip lock. <laughs> I don't even know how the hell we get out of here. Some of these arrows just really suck. Oh, all right. 111. 111. Can you drive to this one? Hell yeah. Because I'm lazy. We should just have him drive to all the places. We'll just hold Y. We're good. <laughs> Bye. Oh, damn. Damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Is this the one that Roy was bringing me to with, like, the German girl and shit? I think it might be. Homicide guys are already inside. Damn it! Roy, you took too long. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. Oof. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who were the other trip. mix? Two musicians, Fiddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree, we've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Bukowski, please. Damn. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. He is messed up. Just when I think I've seen it all. And then I see when you're more. When you ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Well, that's definitely got nothing to do with it. No. Uh, is this a cigarette butt? Something on the ground, I guess. Um, what's that? That carton of cigarettes? Pack of cigarettes, yeah. Uh, where's the other body? Oh, okay. Oh. In this way. There 
is. Jesus. I love the tide, though. Damn shame. Damn shame. He's he's so squishy and crunchy. <laughs> no, not the face. Coming from what's left in circulation. Cardiax. <laughs> oh, lady! Uh, bandstand is where all the morphine is, so we gotta go take a look at that too. Oh, right, 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 right here. Jesus. Another day, another dollar. Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Take a look. that click okay well it's obviously hiding morphine and shit underneath there's another mouthpiece somewhere Gotta be another mouthpiece, right? Broke all that. That's a lot of cigarettes. A dozen packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. That's a lot of cigarettes. Ooh, and guns. Okay. Marine weaponry. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Hmm. Is this guy hunting for bear? That's look at these things. That's not for bear. They're BARs. Yep. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Okay, let's... Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly uh, was that lifted that one, from that ship. Another day, another dollar. You already said that. Thank you, NPC. Aha! Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Alright. We should follow up on the musician angle. Alright, anything else? Morphine needle. Stop touching needles and dead bodies with Kept your bare hands. Kept a stash hands. close at hand. Jesus Christ, Phelps. in a cocktail bar. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Oh, thank you. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Uh, shooting incident. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. So if I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. So why are you here? You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Why Eddie she turns be here up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next hey. thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. Huh? He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, Matt. Eddie was Thanks. in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Okay. Another day, another dollar. Mal, shut up! Fucking 
it's stuck. All right. I'm gonna say the same three lines over and over and over. Um, what's at the, what's at the police station? Sure. Will we? Ha ha! See you in hell, Roy. I don't even remember what the hell was at the police station. It's not the bodies, the bodies are still there. Detective Idiot, Drift King. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Hey, hi, guys. Hey, what's going on? Oh, that fucking oh, rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who? Who is Brenda? What's happening? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Who's Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Whores have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the what? law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects Who's to the Stoker? LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Of course they Yeah, are. and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. I've never heard Earl be so philosophical. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. We found the guns. You know, I'll just follow Earl before I go kicking in doors. Doors! Harry, you got a minute? Tell me. Sure, Cole, any time. Right You've now. been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case yep. of Thompsons. Oh. Crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. I was just looking at it right here. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? tap on Kelso's name just because we know him no yeah, all right uh, the Goldrick no this is the crate we recovered all right. tap on the half a million surrettes loose on the streets of LA uh, bar here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 club Thompsons are still Enough to arm three companies. Some of these guys are from my Thompsons. old units. Like Kelso. They must have finally shipped home. And McGoldrick. Kelso, Sheldon. McGoldrick? McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Ooh. Stay in touch on this. It's getting in. Interesting. Oh, hey, how you doing? Job uh, 20 years. I never fired my job. 20 years. And I never fired. Shut up. I followed the arrows. I'm stuck. There you go. Um. Get out of the way, idiots. Get out of the way, idiots. Wow, they are rocks. You can drive. Uh, Where are we going? Blue room. We would have gone. 
it's not telling us where to go. How well did you know the owner? A Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. Oh, right. That's some cruel irony. That later. You survived the war, then. So shut up. I don't need your lore, damn it. I don't need you talking to me. Fucking getting to know me. We don't need to know each other. We're only partners in this case, damn it. Ugh. Ow. The blue room. Oh, this was the one. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello? Take a break, boys. Oh, uh, yeah, there she is. We would is. like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. Shut up, Roy. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bow. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of many making inquiries? Understand further? Missions? Cases? I've what? told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink? While I see the this. fuck is wrong with Roy? Everything. Will you sit down? Jesus Christ. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. <laughs> People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. Liar. A Liar. lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. I'm not looking to arrest users. I'm after the supply. You just don't get it, do you? I've heard that a lot. Some people today, can't that I just don't get without it. Hell. So many times people. My partner mentioned a couple of names. Do you recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Liar! The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? Bad it means that he just wasn't that good. Uh. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. <laughs> and you're so full of courage. Drugs are bad, Kai. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid <laughs> questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Oh, Very so hard and very noble. Words are just words, cold words. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? <laughs> You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Why'd you say it like that? All right, what am I doing? Oh. Oh, great. Another tailing mission. Uh, son of a bitch. Everybody's favorite. Oh. I didn't think this was a cop car, my bad. <laughs> Whoops. All right, whatever you do, don't turn on the siren when you're trying to be discreet. It just doesn't work out for you. Yeah, yeah, didn't think it was a cop car. Whoops. 
house. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I fail it as many times, I could just skip the whole tale and stuff. You don't have to worry about a damn thing. somebody off in traffic. Try me, bitch. God damn it, get I'm way too impatient for tailing people in this game. It's like trying to do any stealth missions in any stealth game. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed? Nah. Hitman? Nah. L.A. Noir? Nah. Losing the trail. Oh, where is she? Oh, there she is. Hello! Elsa, don't look back this way. Don't worry about it. We're good. Perfect. All right, move in. She didn't suspect a thing. So asleep, Jesus Christ. Phelps. What you, what you doing, buddy? What you? Doing Phelps. <laughs> oh, it's pretty much me here in the sheds. Oh, boy. Oh, Roy. Roy knows. Roy followed me after I followed Elsa. Hey, partner. Oh, hey. Uh oh. Ooh, it's a very tense and awkward silence. Ugh. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which not table? Yet. Number three. If you'll follow me. Number three, me lord. Mm, Harry thinks he could get fresh whenever he pleases. A waitress will be with you in a minute, sir. Three. LAPD. Aha. Uh -huh. We have some questions Hi, regarding. Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Iga Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. Dick. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Uh, or maybe okay. that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Thanks? <laughs> what? Kevin, I always said what a funny guy Roy is. And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star up on Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Possibly. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Wrong! So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know yes. what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. Hey! 
The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. Why are you dumb? Why do I you hate your face? believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Your smug face says otherwise. Let's take a look at the notebook. Oh. Back up. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I hate him. I can attest I to that. I hate his face so I'd much. I recommend they get out of the life quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. And you know I dope has you. never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll me? ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll hey. take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. I'm surprised he didn't stay for a drink. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. No we have shit. to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. Yeah, who we'll saw see. this coming? Everybody. My God, you're telling Detective. me that KGPL's guy? KGPL's going crazy. Oh. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. There's they want the every Thompson. car. Go! Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my staff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're, you're telling me the mafioso style guy didn't take all the morphine? Sure. All right. Let's let's hit it. We'll shoot him. He's totally got one of the Thompsons. Hit the building. Oh no, he's got a bar. Okay. Okay, we'll take it off of the roof. Oh! Finally, I'm there to stop that son of a bitch! Ah! I wanted to see if I could just aim at his head real quick. Oh no, am I gonna have to go through the cutscene again? Damn it. Yeah. Alright, I'll I'll play fair. <laughs> Can't pick the shot. Oh no shit. Shooter has a machine gun! He's empty two clips into the box. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. the roof. This is how Cole Phelps' story ends. I've never gone up a fire escape, but I don't think it would be this fast. LAPD, drop the gun now! <laughs> Got him! Quick draw Phelps. That's what they called me. Everybody okay besides that one officer who caught one in the dome? Everybody did. 
feel like the guy on the side of the bus is just not good. Oh, well, thank you for finally joining us, Roy. I don't know if they call him a sniper, but sure. Oh, it's somebody we know, isn't it? It's somebody we know. Maybe. Me. Bubba the Booby. Right. All right. Well, let's get the wallet situation out of the way. This pocket. There we go. Phone number and restaurant table. Huh. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. We don't need it again. I accidentally hit it. Leave it alone. Not his face. God damn it. Grab his hand. There we go. Alright, nope. Next one. And over there. Anything over here? Negative. Okay. What do we got? Yep. The bar. Same same deal. Yep. It's one of the BARs. Alright. And we'll grab the clip too, I guess. For the magazine. Perfect. Alright, and that's it. Love it. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Oh, hey, Felix. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? Hey, wait a it's minute. my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find he out was what in, happened. He was in one what of the earlier missions, someone and took he a died. Shot at my bus. And the cops turn up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking uh, admirable, Felix. Rio and good girls or whatever. You hear anything Ooh. about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Yeah, Felix, the morphine is turning up everywhere. People are dying. Don't believe the That's man. You want to tell me? I'm a bus driver, so I look like I run a dope racket. Do you? Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Bad. Felix, we didn't go fuck. through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. All right, we'll be in well, touch. That didn't go well. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Well, you're a bright and cheery Pretty cool customer. Source. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? No. Not for a minute. Oh, uh, phone, phone, phone. Kelso, isn't it? Oh, boy. What an adventure. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack ah. Kelso. Just a second. Why did you pause so long? Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. Okay. Oh, Kelso. I, I feel like he's not going to be happy to see me. That's fine. Put it in! Pass the other Good drift. I fucking hate the siren. Don't worry about the siren. Oh, thank God it's not 12 years away like all the shit in the last mission. Just a scratch. <laughs> Don't worry. Roy's not here at Team Yellow. Arlington Manor. 
Ooh, fancy schmancy Kelso. What is with the lighting happening in this game right now? Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. Nope. You don't. Are you <laughs> going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. Are you threatening an officer of the law? How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. If you pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk, fuck you. Fuck you. Because <laughs> that scene was necessary. <laughs> Look at that tie. Ugh. Horrendous. All right, army surplus. You know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine. That has nothing to do with me. Wrong. I'm sure it would be gripping what? to hear more of your life story, boys. But the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. Bitch. You better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Hmm. And you didn't right. know that he some see, mobsters he blew seemed, his brains out He seemed out genuine about that one. I had to make the choice. No, I didn't. All right, yeah, he, yeah. Arm stolen from the You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro oh, okay. today. All right. I had Good. to stare deep into his eyes and go, How was he? You a liar? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's liar. goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Kelso. Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? What the fuck Count are you me out. What do you know about the army what surplus robbery from the cool God guy? damn. What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. Uh, I don't know anything about the robbery. Liar! People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. <laughs> Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? I'll fight you Trying right now, Trying to make now, a bitch. name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with this $200 suit and $2,000 car. Oh, wow. Tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. Only two thousand. I'd like to make you for, for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majowski. Another name from the manifest. <sighs> God damn it. Where are the Tommy guns? For fuck's sake. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Who's going to be aiming for Detective Idiot Cole Phelps after this? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. Yeah, all right, cool. Thanks, buddy. The answer is yes, actually. God damn. Hope the shooting is still not going on. I got obliterated last time. Probably used to happen. I'm about to get obliterated again. I think we're gonna go have a mini fire after this. They just walked up and shot the man. Oh, oh, and they're gone. Two of them officers. They went that way. Go on, get after him. Oh, okay. Jack I'm was driving. a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. 
won't work. He's a tough cuss. Take the ramp. Take the ramp. Ha! Super cool. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. He's listen. For some reason, the car is just a little bit faster than me. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Getting close and steer him off the tar. No good. We need to get closer. I'm working on it. I hate, I hate the driving and shooting mechanic in this game. It's awful. Watch it. These guys are going to go flying. Oh, they put the gun. Okay. Out of the way. Have fun, boy. There's a man walking in place. Soft locked NPCs. We love it. <sighs> oh, not him. What's this? Ah. Nah. Don't care. Roll over, idiot. crotchety looking man all with my BARs ooh what's this oh oh an LAPD file we have a traitor in our midst all of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them ooh that's not good alright who sold us out who are you? Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. <laughs> okay. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Uh, there's still stuff. All right, the bar. Yeah, we know it's we know it's our gun. Okay. guy? No, not him. Uh, is it the car? There's still something that I need to look at. Maybe it's on his hands. Still got the music, so it's something else is still here. I can only look at this first body. Fuck. All right, well. Commit that to memory. Let's see if I can. God damn you. Man, it sounds like rigor mortis is already setting in. Yep, anything on my hand? Nope. Put him down. Is there here? Hmm. Nothing about the car. Okay. Ah, screw it. All right. Oh, crap. Uh, how many crime scenes? They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? Because if you're there. How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. Well, that went well. Uh, I, I'm trying to commit things to people so I can use it to accuse them. Ooh, 
$2,000 car. Now, that scrape would have been $2,000 worth of damage. It was a... Uh, uh, maybe four years ago, someone at work accidentally dinged the middle of my door panel. It was a very small ding, like a small itty bitty scratch. And a couple places, one place said they could fix it for like 200 which is astonishing. Another place said 15 And then there was a place that wanted four grand to fix it. Oh, God! Okay, there's the Tommy guns. Get it! Get in close and steer them off the tar. I'm doing this shit again. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Ugh. I can't take the shot from here, Cole! We'll take the goddamn shot anyway, Roy. We don't have an option. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road. Roy, please, just fire. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Whoop! It's no good. We need to get closer. Out of the way. Guys, please. There's too many NPCs out here. Tree. Oh, don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. All right. Well, I didn't have a choice. What up, nerd? We're on fire. Sorry, Roy. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Punch him. Yeah. Punch him in the head. I swung at him and I missed. Ooh, 46 pack. Oh. Oh, Roy, you lost your hat. I don't think I've ever seen you without a hat. You look weird. Why do I look pissed? Hey, Roy, your car. Wail on the siren and go. Never mind. Did not help that whole situation right there. Get out of the way. It's an unusually quiet drive this way. Let's go in the passenger seat. Uncharacteristically quiet. He's gonna get shot on this one. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Do I have to sneak in? I think I'm going to sneak. And down. <laughs> it only took three bullets at like almost point blank range. Uh, we don't talk about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hello! Dead man. Oh, was he meant to be alive? Tell Courtney. <laughs> that 
bad luck. <coughs> Look at me. I'm a dumb, stupid criminal. Try. Boop, 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 boop. Cole, it was sorry. Worth a try. That's hilarious. Oh, and there he goes. God. <laughs> Polar Bear Ice Company. They really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? What is this? What is this? What is this view? Why is it that close? All right, anything over here? No, rigor mortis. Just arms. Huh. Okay. Gentlemen. I just picked up something. Uh, is there anything else with it? We go this way. Aha! Post office. Oh, Jesus. Got him good. Let's see what's what's on the docket now. Oh nope, not that way. Uh, location is still at Hollywood Post Office. Okay, so the Hollywood Post Office and the crime scene in the alleyway are still viable places. What else you got on you? Oh oh oh, hang on. Let's see this card again real quick. So he's done. That's annoying. Folks, how's it going? I probably have missed so many clues. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some right now because we can't really do anything. stuff in here do we check a manifest uh, oh hello another dead guy okay you look like you've got something in your pocket sir not that pocket but in this pocket yeah Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Neat. Okay. Yep, we're done. Drewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll. These are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? All right, let's go bust your friends. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. He knows. He knows. He's playing with me on it. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. <laughs> what the hell? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. The whole thing just dropped out. All right, let's see it. Hello, boys. There, light them up. All right, let's kill these red bastards. All right. Oh, he's 
driving a car. Give me some goddamn cover. <laughs> uh, also, find some cover. Got him. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. Someone else died. Carl Evan King. Carl Evan King, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol. Eleven K. I'll take that as a Roger. Carl Evan King on route. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. All right, Hollywood Police Station. Oh, what a shit show this has been. This has been absolute calamity. Honestly, I don't remember who Sheldon is. Mother, look out! Away! Away! Can't be the. No, who was? That was Mickey. Someone's gonna just completely destroy that woman. Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap. No, but this is more important. Oh. Well, already then. Strips off me as a grand jury case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my. What up, nerd? Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is oh, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. This is fuck He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? Nah, shut up. You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a All the flashback sequences. Yes, very bright all future. All with this guy in the oh, newspaper. That's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. They're all dead. I sir. would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me. Let's take a look at the notebook. What do we got? Okay. Copy of the manifest. Mm. Okay. Hmm. So Courtney Bed left with a blip. Try. I'm gonna say accused with You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough oh. to attempt something like this. You either give it up or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Uh, I'm gonna say Beckett's confession now. I didn't know his last name was Courtney. Jack isn't Lock! None of us were. We just followed your orders. I hate your face. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Back up. Damn so it. So Amy Goldrick took his cut and bought the 111 Club. I... I don't know what Eddie is doing. Have you finished, <sighs> Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. <sighs> Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. I've messed up. I've really messed what are you up. Offering, Cole? Don't what? be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! 
Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. What? Oh, does this have to do with... You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this yeah, old man's sir, heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Uh. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children. Someone is opening so many doors in this Sorting with the enemy and the dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Well, got me. Is that the end of Vice? Oh. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girl. I didn't know I Let had a Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? This is, this what is good. This thinking? is juicy. What about our children? Can I'm really you invested in the story. What has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Neat. Way to go, Phelps. <laughs> what about your suitcase? No, you're gonna need those. Suitcase. Oh. It's gonna be cold. <sighs> now, who did it? Who gave the pictures? Who got the pictures? Are we gonna say Roy? Are we gonna say somebody else? I don't know. You know. Okay. That's it. Demoted to the arson desk. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it makes sense. All right. Well, folks, with that, we're going to end the stream today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning with Skate Sunday. Uh, we'll bust out some skate moves, and we'll look super cool while doing it. And uh, look like we might have an idea as to what we're doing. But until then, so take care, everybody. I've been Feist the Cheese. You've been a fantastic audience. We will see you next time for more streams. Go hang out with Ray. Deuces!